Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. I'm a food scientist and chemical engineer. In today's video, we are going to be talking about pre and post workout nutrition tips. So let's get started. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make is jacking up their pre and post workout nutrition. Meal timing around your workouts is so crucial, not only for performance, but also to optimize your fat loss. So in today's video, we're going to talk about three specific scenarios where you can be optimizing and tweaking your nutrition. So scenario number one is when you're doing cardio. When should you do cardio? So a lot of people ask me if they should do fasted cardio versus fed cardio. For the majority of you guys watching, to me, it's most important that you are consistent with your cardio. I have a whole nother YouTube video explaining the differences and studies behind the benefits of fasted versus fed cardio. However, if you are going to do cardio first thing in the morning, it is 100% okay to do it fasted. So nothing wrong with doing fasted cardio. I typically do it and drink black coffee beforehand. Now fed cardio, this is more important for those who have a more performance oriented goal. So if fat loss is your goal, I recommend doing cardio in the fasted state. Maybe just have some coffee beforehand. If your goal is to get faster mile times, if your goal is to build up your endurance, if your goal is anything endurance or speed related, definitely eat something before the cardio. But for everyone else who just wants to lose body fat, make sure you do it in the fasted state. Now we're going to talk about scenario number two, which is weight training. You should never do fasted weight training. I repeat, do not weight train in the fasted state. If you are going to weight train first thing in the morning, I always, always, always recommend you have at least 10 to 20 grams of carbohydrates before you weight train. And in addition, after you weight train, you're going to want to have a post-workout shake, such as a protein shake, to make sure you support recovery, you support the rebuilding of the torn muscle fibers that were torn up during the resistance training session so that way you can build lean muscle tissue. Now, before you weight train, pre-workout supplements are absolutely okay. They're great ergogenic aids if you want to be a little bit lighter with the food, but I always recommend about 10 to 20 grams of carbs. So things like a banana, apple, maybe a slice of toast with some jelly on it, maybe some dried fruit, some granola, things of that nature, some coconut water, those are excellent pre-workouts before a weight training session. And then after, always make sure you take a protein recovery shake with at least 20 grams of protein post-workout. Now, last but not least, when you are doing weights and cardio together in the same session, when this happens, you actually want to do your weight training first your cardio second. The reason why you wanna do weights first and cardio second is because when you are doing weight training, your body is going to rely on your muscle glycogen for fuel to power through those moves. Now, when you want to burn body fat, your body needs to burn through that glycogen first before it can shift over into using fat as a fuel source. So if you think about it, if you just jumped on the treadmill, it's gonna take your body a good 15, 20 minutes or so to burn through that glycogen in order to get to fat loss mode. So on a treadmill, if you just start, that first 15, 20 minutes doesn't even count towards fat loss. So what you want to do is utilize all that muscle glycogen to have a high performance lift, burn through all of that, and then do your cardio second. Weights first, cardio second. Under these circumstances, again, 10 to 20 grams of carbs beforehand, Weights first, cardio second, then do your post-workout shake after the cardio. So comment below if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.